<laughs> Piss off. <laughs> I don't even see a point in the shelter. <laughs> it's not sheltering me from anything. Uh, I'm getting eaten. Yeah, that's what I've got to look out for. Ah. Uh. Well, and I'm just not feeling great, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Yo. Bro, we had one uh. match. I'm really hoping that water doesn't get me sick. Ooh, yeah, that's good. This is why I don't need water. I can't even think straight. Hey guys, welcome back to Gone Wild Australia. Today we're doing a 24 hour challenge with no food or water. Today we're in the Riverland and we've only bought three items with us today in our backpack. So the three items we've chosen is a machete, one single match, and a fishing line with a hook. So hopefully with these three items we can get through today's mission. Keep in mind we're barefoot so we have no shoes. We did bring a headlight but this is included as camera equipment as we have no light on our camera. So you guys can see what we're doing at night. All right guys, Let's get started. The 24 hours starts now. So Tony has just dropped us off into the wilderness. We're going to walk through the wilderness and see if we can find a good spot to camp. There's a river up there somewhere, so we're going to try and find that and hopefully camp next to it so we have food and water. We're barefoot. Hopefully we don't cut our feet open. Something we're gonna have to deal with, especially tonight, is the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes out here are thick, it's humid. I don't think I'm personally gonna get any sleep tonight. Hopefully we can some find some water. Fingers crossed we catch a fish. We had a lot of fun in the past week with Tony. <laughs> Love the chase and the some survival challenge for you guys. We're kind of going into the survival mission already dehydrated. Brooke's joints are already hurting. I woke up pretty much all my joints, all through my shoulders, finger joints, toe joints, just aching, which is a sign of dehydration. So had a little bit of water this morning, um, but I think that'll be personally my main focus is to find water because getting dehydrated out here being 35 degrees, isn't what you want. Any time today, it might start bucketing down, which is what we want, because we have no means of finding water and I'm too scared to drink from the river without boiling it. Hopefully we get some drinking water, we can make some water catchment and drink straight from the sky. The bad thing about tropical weather is that mosquitoes love it and they also love this blood. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no need for gum boots out here. So that's the sort of terrain we're dealing with guys. Basically just swamp. Guys, as you can probably hear, there is a river up here, which means water. Woo! Oh, look at that. Water! <laughs> I don't know if that's drinkable. It's a flowing river, but I don't know if it's contaminated. I guess it's just a 24 hour challenge, so if you get sick anyway, you can and go to props, hospital. we gotta be careful with. You reckon we should set up here or I keep walking down? down yeah. Hopefully it opens up a bit. Yeah. I feel like fishing in this area is probably not the best yeah. with all the bushland. And hopefully there's a bit more of an open area where we can um, hopefully catch some bait yeah. and uh, yeah, catch a fish for dinner. Um, my feet, yeah, my feet is pretty sore. I've been stepping on st sticks and rocks and oh. oh. No way. Oh. What? Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> no way. We're on. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. What? Oh my god. This makes this survival mission so much easier. What? Guys, what are the chance? Tony literally, we say drop us in the middle of nowhere. Do you reckon he knew? He wouldn't have known. No, I don't know. This is pretty deep out here. I hope it's not, no one's staying in this. We found a shelter, baby! Yoo! Yeah, we have to set up camp so we've here. Got, we've got the river, we've got a shelter. I think we're gonna have to add to that though. Probably, we wanna sleep off the ground. So I think we'll build a fish trap. Yeah. And then while the fish trap's in the water, we can uh, start fixing up the shelter. Sounds good.
All right, so this lever is lightly tucked under this rock. Any light touch from this hook by a fish in the water will pull that lever and this stick will fling up, hooking it in the mouth. I built one of these in episode four and now I'm putting it to good use in a survival challenge. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, nice. Good. Sort of like live bait as well. Yep. Oh. Oh. That's bait. That's a big one. So we've just found some litter, Prima box. So hopefully we're betting on it to thunderstorm. Uh, we can use this as a catcher for the rain. Does it say used by date so we can see how old it is? 2022. For the, my next 24 hour mission, I'm gonna Google what mushrooms to eat because this could be edible. Keep in mind, a lot of mushrooms are poisonous so I'm not taking the risk. If you're watching this and know what sort of mushrooms they are, comment that down below. Are they some sort of fruit on there? That's a very, very hard fruit. I'm guessing maybe a fruit. Once again, guys, if you know what this is, put it down in the comments. Hey, there we go. What's it taste yeah. like? Like, kind of like cucumber. All right, guys, so we're only about two hours in and I'm already feeling really, really dehydrated. So I'm hoping before, um, before nighttime, there's a bit of, bit of rain so we can collect some water. Okay, let's hope that works. It's only a tiny little box, so we're gonna have to share. <laughs> People that built this have left some rope. Guys, this literally looks set up. We literally just found this. We have not then. set this up. <laughs> I don't even know what we're gonna use this for, but I'm sure it's gonna come in handy. I found this. Oi. It could even be used as a fire base. This must have been like a, a campsite or something. Guys, look at my feet. Already cut up. Ah. That's our reference stick. Yo! Ow! Ah! Oh. What? Oh no way! This, this is obviously... Oh well. ...been washed up by the current. And this will be absolutely perfect to boil some of this river water, water in. Oh, good work. Ah. <laughs> so considering how wet it is out here, it's pretty hard to start a fire because all of the dead wood's just wet from the night before. We're going to try and light this rope and see if that'll catch. It looks pretty dry to me. We've only got one match, so we've literally got one gold. Right, so the one match that we bought and that wreck, I've lost it. This is why I need water. I can't even think straight. Oh. Found it. All right, let's get this fire started on wreck. One go, come on. Uh, we've got the tinder ready. We've got the small six ready. Oh. Yes. Yep. Yes. Smother it. Just a little bit on top. Bro, we had one match. You reckon we're on? Oh, come, come on. on, come on. I think we just keep feeding it this little stuff. Yeah. Chill. Yeah, so I'm putting the sticks across the bucket like that so at least it smokes it out and dries it out a little bit. Such a hot day but I've never been so happy to sit around the fire. Still got all this rope too. Oh yeah. We started to lose it a bit there. But I literally lost the match and then I accidentally stood on this can which sometimes can cause a little hole so I'm hoping that that hasn't pierced it. Oh yeah, that's boiling. Boiling? Yep. There we go. Looks pretty murky, but give it a go. Yeah. All right, first try. Not too bad. Still a little bit warm. I think everything's sunk to the bottom. Can't even talk. Trying to wrap my head around what's coming up tonight. I'm really hoping that water doesn't get me sick. So guys, I'm not feeling too well at all. Severely dehydrated. I feel like I look a little bit pale as well. I 
I've been talked to all about this, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I think just because I was dehydrated from the solar day, it's just going to be too hard. I need to be hydrated the day before. Just can't operate at all. A bit comfier. Oh, way better. Oh, that's Re gross. Yeah. You can sleep. Yep. Oh, I can. Yeah, let's get a lot more of these. So, so as Bo finishes the bed, just making it uh, softer, I'm gonna go find this fish trap. By the looks of it, still doesn't look like it's gone off. Still hasn't triggered. Bait has come off, so I'm gonna rebait it, put it back out. Fingers crossed, by night time we can catch a fish. Oh, oh yes! Oh. oh, yum, yum, yum. So the water's like halfway between clear and murky. If I was like in a real survival situation and I could not get a fire started, I would consider drinking that. But the reason I'm boiling it is because there are small bugs and stuff. And I'm scared they might be parasites or something that might make me ill. So that's why I'm boiling it and uh, drinking it hot, which doesn't taste too bad anyway. A hot drink on a hot day goes a long way when you're really dehydrated. I just had a chat with Bo and I'm just not feeling great. All my joints are still sore, I got a headache. Bit disappointed in myself, but um, I guess that's the good thing about this channel is there's always one other. So Bo's gonna soldier on. Yeah, don't feel bad at all. You soldiered on for as long as you could. I saw you push through as hard as you can. Mm. And yeah, your health is more important at the end of the day than mm. the challenge. And that's a good, that's a good thing about you know, our friendship is we support each other. And so that's one thing with these challenges, like we're not faking them. If I can't do it, I'm not gonna fake it and drink water on the side. Yeah. So yeah, it's just one of those things. Yeah, and that's one thing we said as well. We said, if if one of us ha fail, we say it to the camera, we cannot do it. Yeah. We're, and we're not gonna fake it on the side. I'm gonna go back, um, it's about what, 2K walk? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, but it's through bush, so through it's going to take you a good hour. Yeah, I guess that's it for me. I, I know your frustration right now because all you want to do is finish this mission. Yeah. But yeah, yeah you're, you need to look after yourself first, that's most important. I'm going to clock off, um, hopefully next 24 hour challenge I can complete camera's gonna get sick of my voice. So I think one of the biggest challenges is, is keeping the fire going so I can just drink water. The more and more hydrated I get, the less water I feel like, but at the moment I just feel like sculling a big amount of water because I've just lost so much. Yeah, I'm losing it. <laughs> Hasn't even been that long and my mind is just going a little bit nuts. I have gone seven days without eating before just to test my mental strength but uh, obviously that was in good conditions and i had like fresh cold water and a bed to sleep in i think in the last 24 hour challenge why it was so hard was because i had to sleep on the ground and i got no sleep so it was a mixture of being overtired being hungry and being thirsty but now that i've got water a really comfortable mattress or bed to sleep on and hopefully some food, I think I can survive out here. I think this place is completely livable. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a red hot crack and hopefully we can get through this. So one thing I don't wanna to get too comfortable with is coming to this river and not checking if there are crocodiles. Because we are in Northern Territory, it is crocodile territory. So 
I gotta make sure that every time I come to fill up this can, I'm super alert and um, yeah, watch out for those crocs. And this is my last can, it's started to rain, so I think this fire will go out, but that's okay because we could probably capture some water with my water trap. Oh, it's getting heavy. I don't know if this will work. It'll drizzle down. Let's go, Prima, come on. Oh, oh that's so nice because it was so hot before. <laughs> Um. Ah, yeah. There we go. Got my backpack. Gonna use it as a pillow. Yeah, the fire's completely out. Oh, now I'm freezing. Oh. Oh, I don't even see a point in the shelter. <laughs> it's not sheltering me from anything. This. Oh, it's, it's about a quarter full. The thing with tropical weather and why it's harder is because when you go out into an area and you know what the weather's going to be like, you know what's expected. But with tropical weather, it's just you don't know what you're doing. One second you're building a fire, next minute you're trying to get out of the rain. It's just nuts. Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> Guys, too easy. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even mind being cold for this. Guys, a little bit of Murphy's Law for you right there. Whatever can happen will happen. So we set ourselves up for that, for that nice little cold drink right there. Um, we set us up. We set ourselves up nice and early, and we got the rewards. So there you go, right there. I'm gonna set it up again, and it doesn't take long to fill up if it keeps on. With this consistent rain, I think every 10 minutes I'm going to get a drink, which is quicker than actually boiling it, which I didn't think would be a thing. So, yes. Yes. Thank you. Woo! I'm also doing this just to stay warm. So let's go. Wow. Now that this rain has stopped, it's really made me think maybe this place isn't so livable. <laughs> livable. The fire's out, I don't have another match. So even if I catch a fish, I'm not gonna be able to cook it. I'd probably have to eat sushi. My next source of water, I have to rely on it to rain. As I said before, I'm gonna give it a red hot crack, but um, this place might not be too livable without a lighter and dry wood and now that the rain has stopped also the mosquitoes are coming out to play <laughs> and we don't have fire to get rid of them so looks like i'm going to be a mosquito bait for the night the snag oh there goes that fish trap so i get two centimeters of water in there oh it's mixed with dirt <laughs> here we go Mm. Oh, I hope I don't get sick. This one doesn't even look as promising as a Prima bottle. Mm. Mm. getting eaten look at this oh. just absolutely getting oh. <laughs> oh no ah To anyone that thinks that we fake our videos at all, just look, here's a proof. Like, I'm literally drinking mud water. Yeah, that's what I've got to look out for. 
Because if that gets infected, I'm in big trouble. Oh, so tired. Oh. Mosquitoes have just come out to play. They're just all around me. I started to drift off a little bit and um, they said, no, nah, no, nah, get up. You're not sleeping out here, mate. If you want sleep, you can go back to your van. I'll just stay up and just... Mm. <laughs> Ugh, terrible. This is why I need a fire to, like... <laughs> you want to fly off my nose. Piss off. Go away. <sighs> this is really, really hard to do without a fire. Oh, mosquitoes, and it's just so cold too. I've probably drifted in and out of sleep for about, I don't know, probably like half an hour. Hugging my backpack. I took off my shirt because it was just too wet and it was getting me too cold. Good morning. All right, check this out. This is bad. <laughs> oh, my feet are just red raw. I felt this big spider like crawling on my leg in the middle of the night. I just woke up and went Phew. Um, Not ideal, not ideal at all. Yeah, so my mattress is no longer soft. It's all squashed and just like sticks poking out of it. So that got a little bit uncomfortable throughout the night. If I was to stay here again, I'd have to chop up more branches just so I can get a little bit more cushion. But that's what I was sleeping on last night. <sighs> All right, guys, we did it. We completed the 24 hour challenge and uh, it's time to head home right now. Oh, well, head back to a road where Tony's gonna pick me up. I told him to pick me up in 24 hours from where he dropped us off. So I've got about maybe 45 minutes of walking to do until we get to the road. Um, thank you for everyone that has made it this far. If you have made it this far, and uh, you're interested in watching the next video, make sure you leave a question down in the comment section below because Brooke and I are gonna be answering all the questions in the next video, like a Q and A. Um, I, I feel now that I'm up and walking, I'm really dizzy, like really, really dizzy um, and really hungry. I've got like a pounding headache right now. Ooh, wow, I'm feeling woozy now. And we're back. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching once again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. New videos every single week. I'm about to hit a shower and have amazing feed and some cold water. Ew!